Hiya. Have you ever been called a pest? You know, I'll bet you have. My mom used to call me a pest all the time. In fact, my wife, she still calls me a pest. But what, what is a pest anyway? And can you have pests in the forest? Do trees have pests? Well, let's find out. We'll talk about that in this episode of Believe It or Not. Georgia, what exactly is a forest pest? Maybe it's something that bothers trees. Could it be something that eats the leaves? The leaves oh, eats. Okay, so what about something that eats underneath the bark of the tree? Ooh, that would be good wood yeah. borers and things. Or what yeah. about a fungus that lives on the root systems? Oh, so it eats the roots too? Yeah, it could be. Or sucks stuff out of the yeah, roots. Yeah, out of the roots. You, you know, I'm standing next to a pest right now. Not me. Actually, no, not you. It's, it's this. It's, this autumn olive bush oh, yeah. is a pest. Yeah, maybe you should leave the plants for some other time and talk about the things that are eating the trees. That's a good idea. Maybe, maybe we should get some help on this. A professional. Yeah. A professional. A professional, yeah. Hey, Julie, good thing we ran into you. What are you doing there? This is a gypsy moth caterpillar. Really, what's a gypsy moth caterpillar? It's a non-native invasive forest pest. The gypsy moth, also known as a spongy moth, is an invasive species. That means it's not native to Michigan, and its introduction causes harm. It looks like it's making a mess of this tree. It sure is. It's eating the leaves off of this white oak tree. Is that a really bad thing for a tree? It can be if the tree is already old and in decline. They eat oaks as their favorite, but they'll also eat aspen trees, and then they'll also eat pine trees and fir trees as well. No kidding. Does they, do they eat the tree just like this every single year? Only when we have population outbreaks do, does it eat the tree, all the leaves on a tree. In some years it'll eat some leaves, and some years we don't even know they're here. And then we'll have a population boom, and they'll defoliate whole trees. It's kind of like a population cycle. Well, why do they go down in population then? Well, there are some natural pathogens that are in the environment. We consider them naturalized to Michigan. And there's a virus and a fungus that will infect the caterpillars and cause the population to crash back down. At the peak of the gypsy moth outbreak, which happens about every seven to 10 years, many trees are defoliated, that is, stripped of their leaves. Wet spring weather activates a fungus and a virus that kills gypsy moths, but they can do considerable damage to a forest. Well, Julie, isn't there anything we can do to keep these things under control? Well, we can try and keep as many as possible from the tops of the trees. Oh, well, how do we do that? Well, we can use duct tape wrapped around the trunk to keep them from getting back up into the tops of the trees to feed on the leaves. They won't cross the duct tape. Wow. Um, well, then what, we, what do you do? Well, we can spray them with a simple solution of soap and water, and it'll kill the caterpillars outright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Well, it's all very complex. I mean, how do we figure out all of this stuff anyway? Well, there are foresters who work with forest health, and they're called entomologists and pathologists. A who's it? A what is it? An entomologist works with bugs, oh. and pathologists work with tree diseases. That's right, Julie. Entomologists study pests like aphids, beetles, and moths in their larvae or caterpillars. And pathologists study diseases like fungi and bacteria that infect a tree's leaves, trunk, or roots. Both of these types of scientists help us understand and control these pests. Bill. You've got some gypsy moths in your beard. Oh. <laughs> so we can keep our forests healthy. You know, Georgia, that was really kind of neat bumping into Julie like that in the woods. Yeah, she knows a lot about forest ecology and insects and diseases and all that stuff. Yeah, and that native pests are really an important part of forest health. That's yeah, true. But exotics can sometimes be invasive, which then we have to deal with them in some way. Yeah, we do. You know, and all that makes me think that how cool, you know, bugs and mushrooms and things can be in the woods. Eh, I guess you can be cool too sometimes. Really? Georgia? Well, anyway, 
I hope you can join us for the next episode of Believe, Believe It, it or, or Not. not. <laughs> so we can keep our forests healthy.